Hi, Austin. It is very good to see you today. I want to talk about how to turn our stock losses into tax gains. Of course, a lot of people are wondering about this right now because the past few months have been so tricky for investors. With everything from stocks to bonds falling, it's hard to know whether we should stick it out or cut our losses. So we know that we can sell holdings at a loss. That loss is often called a capital loss or a tax loss. So how do savvy investors use that to their benefit? Yeah, so in general, that is called tax loss harvesting. And where this really applies is if you have something as a taxable brokerage account, this is where you would sell, for instance, investment A, if that had a $20,000 gain, and you had and sold investment B at, say, a $10,000 loss, you could offset some of that loss with selling investment A as well. So that, in essence, reduces your overall tax liability in the year that you complete the tax loss harvesting. Okay, that's good to know. So what kind of investments can we sell then to claim that loss? Yeah, so I think one of the big misconceptions is that this can only really be completed with individual stocks, and that is not true. Although mm -hmm. individual stocks are certainly eligible to uh, be taken advantage of with tax loss harvesting, you can also do so with exchange traded funds or ETFs, as well as mutual funds. Okay. Now, the other question that I wanted to ask, uh, is there any good timeline that we should know about? Like, when is the right time to take take that tax loss? Sure. And Aaron, that, that's a really good question. And one, just like with many other topics in financial planning, is nuanced. So mm -hmm. in general, you can take a, a tax loss anytime in the calendar year. So that's obviously January 1 through December 31st. But it sometimes may make sense to look at this and examine this tax loss harvesting strategy in tree year. So when you take a look at the S&P 500, where it is year to date, let's say you put money to work in January in the S&P 500, that's at a loss mm -hmm. right now, year mm -hmm. to date. So it may make sense to cap capture that loss and capitalize on the opportunity of tax loss harvesting. All right. Yeah. It's kind of painful to look at the S&P right now, isn't it? But that's that's really helpful to know. I always feel better when I'm aware of the tools in my tool belt. So, Austin, this was really helpful. If somebody has some questions about the best way to reach you, how do they get a hold of you? Yes, yeah, so you can give us a call at 919-322-4113 or shoot us an email at info at patriotwealthnc.com. All right. Very easy. Austin, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.